how to make rice the Palestinian way. So first we're gonna start with garlic. So you wanna peel one clove of garlic. Put it aside and then we wanna crush it. You wanna sprinkle some salt. I'll do and then just crush it. Alright, that'll do. So that's all the preparation we really need to do for the rice. Now we just want to wash the rice itself three times. Alright, and now we want to wash the rice. So I'm using two cups of rice, but you can use any quantity as you want. If you want, you can use one cup of um, rice. If you do that, just make the uh, use a smaller garlic. And just wash it up three times so this is once you want to get all that starch out because we how we make our rice is that we don't strain it after that was actually one of the weirdest thing I found in England when I came here so that's one so yeah we want to get all the starch out so because when we cook it we want we don't want it to be mushy that's one thing that our rice is not it's definitely not mushy it's not like risotto it's very much every rice to its own this rice is so easy to make you don't have to wash the rice i think it helps with making the rice tastier but god knows there were so many times where i just could not be bothered so <laughs> i just whacked it in as it is so you can skip that step, I would recommend you do it, but also if you don't have time, if you can't be bothered, you can definitely skip it. Don't let my parents hear me say that. <laughs> All right, so that's three. Lovely. All right, and now let's put stuff together. So we'll start with adding a bit of oil. Traditionally in Palestine we use olive oil. I don't use olive oil because, as I said before, olive oil is the healthiest oil until it's heated. So just the tiniest splash and wait for it to heat, put the heat up so then we can add the garlic. So as soon as the oil is heated up, you want to whack in the garlic and you want to mix it about until it's golden brown. And you want to add a little bit of cardamom to it now and then we're going to add a bit more once we add the water but just a little bit so they can all cook up together so we've got some lovely cardamom and just want to add a sprinkle of cardamom it's getting nice and brown yeah that looks good to me we don't want it to burn and then you just want to whack in the rice and then you want to fill the bowl that you rinse the rice with to add water to the whole thing and that way you get to scrape all the rice that is left on top so you want to add two fingers above where the rice is is how we usually mark it you can kind of see it just a little bit above it and just keep checking on it don't keep mixing it that's the most important thing is that you don't keep mixing it so let's just add some salt and then some more cardamom i love to add in loads because cardamom rice is so tasty obviously if you don't like cardamom just add a sprinkle but believe me even if you don't like cardamom just try it you're gonna oh it's just to die for cooking with cardamom and as i said don't keep mixing it about you just want it if you just want to make sure that it's not completely dried up at the bottom so every I'd probably mix it maybe twice the whole time and it should be ready according to the uh, package of the rice some rice take 10 minutes some rice take 25 it's really up to the rice that you bought so you keep it on high heat as soon as it boils you put it on a medium to low heat and just keep checking on it if it gets completely dry and it's the rice is still not cooked add a little bit of more water not too much just a little bit other than that um just keep your eye on it and don't mix it loads and you just check on it like maybe twice three times and by the end of it it should be 
very cooked and every rice to its own not all mushed together right now let's just leave it to cook and once it started boiling just put it on a low to medium heat Alright, and that looks pretty ready. It's absolutely cooked and every rice to its own. And yeah, we're all done. It literally took me 10 minutes. So yeah, it's the easiest thing to make. And a lot of the times it's good to soak the rice beforehand. Sometimes I soak it a little bit. So I put it, if I, let's say I'm preparing another meat, meat, meal, uh, definitely not preparing meat. <laughs> Um, if I'm preparing another meal so you can leave the rice to soak while you chop the veg while you prepare everything else and because the rice takes no time to cook just cook it at the end so you prepare everything else you soak the rice and then you whack it in the last bit and that even cooks up quicker but you don't have to soak it and you don't necessarily have to wash it but it's definitely recommended to wash it um, but yeah that is that is everything and we're all done you can garnish that rice with some coriander or some pomegranate seeds if you feel fancy and of course just you'll have it with a meal i have it with a stew or with anything or sometimes i just make a lot of rice and then i put it aside then i can easily make a stir fry with it whenever i wanted to just add some peas just add some veg and there you go you've got a stir fry so that is how we make rice the palestinian way it's not very different to how other people make it but i feel like the garlic and the cardamom makes all the difference and give it such a nice flavor because rice shouldn't be plain it should have a little bit of taste to it if you guys haven't subscribed yet then please hit the button down below because i will be posting new delicious vegan middle eastern recipes every wednesday so make sure you stay tuned